Laura, you didn't put that in the description, baby. Laura. I, I don't know. I don't understand the sugar portion, but I'm just going to roll with it. I trust her. Okay. Laura, dude, you did me dirty. Okay. I'm white. Oh, shit. What's up guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you go down and subscribe and join the family so today i'm going to be following miss laura's mom's recipe to make albandig albandiga wait albandigas Al albandigas yeah i think so i don't know clearly i'm white okay <laughs> this is gonna make this a little interesting because they're speaking Spanish in like half of this video. Even though in the description she did put it to be like English. There's still a few things that are in Spanish. But that's okay. We're going to figure it out. Um, I already have one and a half gallons of water starting to warm up. So now I'm about to dice up the tomatoes and onion. It says dice up two tomatoes and one onion. Throw tomatoes and onion to grill for 8 to 10 minutes. Throw tomatoes and onion into boiling water. Put ground beef in a container. And then I'm going to basically make the little balls. Okay, yeah. So basically, I need to chop up the onions and tomatoes. Because that's the first thing we have to do while this water is boiling. So let's do that. Dude, this onion has me crying over here. Okay, so I have the onions and tomatoes right here um, cooking in some oil real quick. It says to do it for about 8 to 10 minutes. And then I need to throw these inside of this water, um, which is hot now. It's starting to boil. And yeah. And then I need to start making the, the actual little ball things. But dude, let me just tell you, that fucking onion... Sorry, it's really bright. Let me turn this down just a little bit. That freaking onion had me crying. Like, I don't even know. My makeup is probably all messed up. We're just going to ignore it. Dude, my eyes were watering so freaking bad. And I cook. Don't, like, I don't want you guys to think that, like, I just don't cook. Like, I cook all the time. But I just never, I only cook for three people. So I never cut up, like, an entire onion. I always just like do the little thing where you hold it and then you do like that and then go this way go diagonal and then you just slice it off and then that makes the onion like chunks or what I mean um diced onions or whatever but I never cut up an entire freaking onion and oh my god it, it had my eyes water I thought I was gonna die bro no who did that yo so I had the ground beef in the fridge, right? And Anthony put it in the freezer. So these are... Bro, what do I do? Ugh. So yesterday I tried to make um, the albondigas, I think is what they're called. The soup, okay? That's what I'm going to call it because I'm not Hispanic, obviously. I don't know how to freaking say that. So, um, yesterday I attempted to make it. And turns out Anthony took the meat from the fridge and put it in the freezer. Therefore, it was rock hard when I have to make little meatballs with it. So, I took it out, defrosted it. And um, now it is the next day and I'm actually able to make it. So, um... We're gonna try again. Okay, so now I'm heating up the water with the roasted tomatoes and onions inside of it. And then I think the next step is to make the actual meatballs. Um, so yeah, let's get started on that. So it says I need ground beef, garlic powder, rice. What the hell is granulada? Granulada, granulada. Why do I feel like that's sugar? Why? No, there's no way. 
Grand. Let's Google it. Granulata. It is sugar. Wow, I'm a freaking. Am I? Am I Hispanic? Did my mom lie to me? Got some oregano. Okay, so now it is time to make the meatballs. We're gonna put, so I'm also halving the entire recipe. I don't know if I told you that because I'm only feeding two other people. Like there's only three of us, not eight, which is what they're feeding. Okay, so this is two pounds of ground beef thrown in there. Oh, one cup of rice. So I'm only gonna put half a cup of rice. And yes, I know this is for liquids, but I'm using it for this because I don't have actual, I usually don't measure stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna. So, okay, she only did some of the rice. Why did she only do some of the rice? I'm just gonna do all of it, whatever. Okay, so we have the rice, okay. So we got the garlic powder. Half a spoon of sugar. I I don't know, I don't understand the sugar portion, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I trust her. Okay. Sugar and a pinch of oregano. So a pinch, we're just gonna. Was that a pinch? Yeah, it's close enough. And then two eggs, but I'm gonna see because I think she only does like one egg at a time, but I'm not sure if we're gonna watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She said granulada, but but then she put in onion powder. Why did she put that if she put onion powder? I'm confused. I just put sugar in my meatballs. Oh shit. We're just not gonna tell nobody. Okay, we're just gonna, it just never happened. Um, we're just gonna pretend like that did not go down. Okay, so that, we're, nope, I'm getting onion powder. Okay, I have onion powder. I don't, Laura, dude, you did me dirty. Okay, I'm white. So onion powder's in there now. Um, we're just gonna skip over the whole sugar part, okay? Don't tell anyone. I'm not gonna tell Anthony if you don't tell him, okay? He doesn't have to know. We'll just see what happens. And one egg at a time, and then she did the second egg later. Oh, this is cold. Oh, I forgot. It says two eggs, but I'm only doing one egg because I'm only doing half the thing. Oh, I'm glad I didn't put this one in at the same time. Oh my gosh, I almost messed that up. I can kind of understand what she's saying. I know she said that there's a lot of meat, so she's gonna add more rice. And then Laura said that there's some empty spots. So I feel like mine doesn't need any more rice. Oh, she also added salt. Laura, you didn't put that in the description, baby. Laura. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make them into little meatballs. Okay, so I did add in some tomato sauce um, because they sh she said to add in tomato sauce for color. So I added in a little bit of that. Now I'm about to put in the meatballs. So this is how many I ended up with. Let me count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 18 of them. Okay, so now the meatballs are in. Now I think I have to get together all of the vegetables, um, like the zucchini. I don't think there was squash. They didn't have a few of the things, but we for sure got corn on the cob. Um, and I think either squash or zucchini. I wanna say zucchini. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up all of the vegetables and I will be right back. 
Okay, so it's been like about 20-ish minutes, a little over 20 minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my corn because I do have a lot less than her, like literally half the size, and I don't wanna overcook the meatballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my corn. They said they put like a shit ton. I'm only putting six. Okay, so now that that's in there, I have to wait... Um, 45 minutes so i'm gonna do probably like 30 35 minutes um and then i'm gonna check on the meat and then after that i can add in all of my vegetables and do all that stuff so yeah i'll see you guys in another 40 just kidding 30 ish somewhat minutes okay so now um she put like four heaping scoops of um i don't know what it's called it's like the beef flavoring or whatever. I have the tomato one like this. I use this all the time to make rice, but I don't have the um, beef one that's like the powder kind. I only have like cubes of it. So she put like four heaping scoops. So I'm just gonna put four or five cubes because these are kind of small to be honest. So I'm just gonna throw some of these in there. Okay, now it is time for me to put in all of the vegetables. So, I'm going to put in zucchini, carrots, potatoes. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Just zucchini, potatoes, and carrots. So, yeah. So it is the next morning. Our friends ended up coming over like not even an hour after I finished making it. So I filmed like a clip of the final product. But when I tell you, all of my friends went in on that freaking soup. Like one of them is an he he's Mexican and his mom is like a phenomenal cook oh my god and he was complimenting my soup and he said or he went back in for seconds and i was like hell yeah anthony literally had four bowls or five bowls or something and then i ate half of my bowl and then he finished my bowl too so i guess it was a hit um nobody noticed the sugar <laughs> so we're just not gonna tell them about that um i guess we'll see if they actually watch my video or not but yeah, so don't put sugar in it. Uh, that was a big no-no. Instead of sugar, it was supposed to be onion powder. I didn't know that. I'm white. I'm learning, okay? I've never made a soup like that before. I've also learned that albandigas is how you say it, and it stands for meatball. That's what it means. That's what it translates to. And granulada is onion powder. It is not sugar. We're moving up in the world. We're learning. But anyways, it was definitely a hit. Um, thanks, Laura, for putting that recipe out there because now that is going to be in my little book of recipes that we pick from every week whenever we decide what we want for dinner during the week. So yeah, they already asked me to make another batch of it and we literally had it yesterday and Anthony ate his little heart out. So yeah um definitely a hit the only thing that i would change and the only thing that anthony said he would change is he would add more vegetables so there was a lot of vegetables in there yes but he said that he would add um like celery um he said even cabbage would be good inside of it um and then we want to put squash in it we tried to put squash in it last time but they didn't have it at the store they were like sold out or whatever um so yeah he said he would just add a little bit more vegetables but other than that everyone loved it it was a huge hit and i will definitely be making this again so thanks miss laura and thanks mama laura and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um i'm closing this out of my video because i'm terrible my camera is literally right there i'm looking at it but i don't want to get up and it's early in the morning and i'm trying to finish this video so i can upload it so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.